the most powerful thing that a Christian can do is actually forgive. Yes. So you're gonna leave with that. Yeah. A lot of you guys have heard my story. I used the vehicle of this band to tell my story as much as I could, hoping, hoping that it would somehow encourage people to be more human and reach up to Jesus for real. So. When I was five, I got molested by a babysitter. And uh, I didn't realize how bad that messed me up until I got married really young and I got divorced really young. And I had a little girl and her life got fragmented forever. And I didn't realize like how bad it had messed me up. And it takes two to tango. I mean, I wasn't a very good husband. My wife wasn't a very good wife, but I just didn't realize how bad that had screwed me up. I looked at women in a weird way and I looked at myself in a horrible way. And I, a lot of us use sex all the time, not realizing that it's, it's really hurting us a lot, more than we want to give it credit. I think it's powerful. Let's just be clear, God invented sex and I like it, but um, when it's out of order, it just causes a lot of problems for me. So anyways, all that's to be said is I, uh, I hated this human being, this sick girl that was a babysitter, and I, I wish I could have killed her like a lot. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> I wanted to like, I, I just, if I could have, I killed her a lot. And so when, when I met God at the end of my marriage, my, my wife fell in love with someone else. I didn't realize that you really reap what you sow. I had no idea that really works. And sometimes it kind of works against you, you know? And when I met God for real, I realized he was willing to forgive me and I had done so many horrible things that I had to be willing to forgive this sick, twisted piece of trash and so if you're here tonight and you're the victim of uh, emotional abuse or sexual abuse or abuse from a leader a teacher a priest a pastor some someone that should have been looking out for you and they weren't the reality of the situation is that no matter what you do they'll never be able to make it right they can't pay you back they don't have the currency of innocence that they can give back to you they don't possess it. That only comes from a supernatural source. And so if you're here tonight, you're the victim. You were victimized by someone that should have been looking out for you. I want you to choose tonight to let go of that debt. And I think if you do that, the love of God, this eternal God that loves, will fill your heart. You'll feel more peace than you have before because it's real. So if you're here tonight, you're the victim of abuse. It was not okay. And I hear Christians all the time tell other Christians, maybe God sent that into your life. Listen, I have four kids. I would never in my life let someone rape my little girl or my, my son. Oh, my God. I would never do that. And I'm like, I suck. I'm not even a good dad most of the time, but I would never do that. That's a false God, people, to share it with you. That stuff is not real. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you he's good, and I'm telling you you can be healed if you've been the victim of this thing. That's right. So yeah. if you're here and you, you are pissed off, you have a right to be. Yeah. Yeah. So please take the debt and recognize who's your real enemy because it isn't them and let them off the hook tonight. So if you're here and you're the victim and you need to forgive somebody, I want you to make a fist and I want you to put it over your head so we can forgive some people tonight. Yeah. This stuff doesn't matter if the presence of God doesn't actually help you. It's not a show I'm here for. So I'm going to count to three, and when I say three, I want you to release the debt. We're going to invite the Holy Spirit to come. One, two, three. Just let it go. Holy Spirit, would you come right now with the power to forgive? We set these sick individuals free, the people that hurt us, God. We choose to cancel the debt. They don't owe us anymore. We're just going to lay the debt in front of you, Jesus. Can you pay, the, pay us back with goodness and pay them back with goodness and transform the whole world? But God, don't let me be pissed off anymore. Father, forgive me and heal me right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah.